Greetings all! Today, we will be examining the relatively uncommon ground electric type Pokemon Stunfisk, the Trap Pokemon. In terms of appearance, Stunfisk share much in common with Stargazer Fish, which makes sense as they too are part of the family Uranoscopidae. Their flat bodies are very similar to that of Flounders, however, with their physical features and internal organs flattened into a thin frame with little in the way of physical depth. Even their eyes are similarly flattened, but they are still able to see effectively enough to discern the surroundings with little trouble. Unfortunately, their fins are in a similar state and are facing the wrong direction for swimming, as they can only move vertically along their frame. This makes Stunfisk fairly poor swimmers as a whole, but it does allow them to rise and fall in the water column without having to rely on their swim bladder as much, saving them energy. Internally, in addition to gills, these fish possess a working set of lungs that they can use to breathe air on land, allowing them to survive for extended periods of time out of the water if needed until they dry out. Their bodies are colored a shade of mud brown in order to match the mud at the bottom of the bodies of water, so they can blend in and hide themselves almost completely from view. The only spots of yellow on their forms are lined along the end of their bodies and their tail fin. These markings are usually never shown willingly by Stunfisk, and are used as a deterrent against creatures that wish to eat them, acting as a warning mark for those that might otherwise foolishly try to eat them, that Stunfisk will gladly make themselves an electrified meal if attacked outright. Stunfisk are different from most fish Pokemon in that they have completely lost their water-type attributes, despite still living in the water for most of their lives, and even having access to the water gun and muddy water attacks. This seems to be the result of the creatures adapting stronger affinities with the ground type than the water type, which is directly tied into the use of mud to camouflage themselves to both hunt for prey and hide from attack. As a result, Stunfisk have the potential to have Sand Veil as a hidden ability, and nearly all the ground type moves that they can learn naturally involve the use of mud to attack, including Mud Slap, Mud Shot, and Mud Bomb. Their powerful Fisher attack is the only exception, and is more a consequence of their floppy body movements. The most potent powers of these creatures come as a result of Stunfisk being bioelectrogenic fish, however, meaning that they have the ability to generate electricity in their bodies. This is done primarily by manipulating electrochemically active transmembrane ion channels and transporter proteins to maintain a voltage imbalance from electrical potential difference between the intracellular and extracellular space of their tissues. Though this consumes ATP energy in their cell to harness, it is worth it as it enables Stunfisk to naturally utilize the Thundershock, Discharge, and Thunderbolt attacks for both offense and water of attackers, plus it ties into the static and limber abilities that they can normally possess as base abilities. While Stunfisk are capable of delivering moderately powerful attacks in battle, their offensive stats are not that great. Possessing below average base attack and special attack stats for a fully evolved electric type, and a below average base attack stat for a fully evolved ground type, with their base and special attack stat being only slightly above average for that particular type. They are instead much better at defending themselves and taking blows, as their incredibly hard skin is not only elastic enough to accommodate extreme pressure, to the point where they feel no pain even if a large sumo wrestler were to step on them but also has unique energy deflecting properties to grant it an unusual resistance against energy based attacks. As such, while the base defense stat is below average for a fully evolved ground type, it's slightly above that for a fully evolved electric type, and its base special defense stat is notably higher than average for both types. In addition, they are incredibly hardy creatures and possess a surprising amount of stamina despite their slim form, granting them a surprisingly high base HP stat for a fully evolved ground type, and especially for a fully evolved electric type Pokemon. The strange body form these fish possess is a direct byproduct of their overall lifestyle, as they are ambush predators and use their bodies as an electrical trap for prey and unsuspecting creatures that step into their territory. Stunfisk will generally use their pectoral fins and tail fin to scrape mud off the surface of lake bottoms and seashores, burrowing into the mud and covering themselves with the substance in order to completely camouflage their bodies. Embedded in the thick skin of Stunfisk are numerous sensory scale patches that are pressure sensitive, which are used to detect the motion of prey if it gets near them or even steps on them, regardless of whether or not Stunfisk can actually see them. Stunfisk will wait quietly in their hiding spot in the hope that something will get near them or step on them, and if this occurs, they will instantly release a high voltage electrical discharge across the surface of their body, electrifying their prey item and stunning it. This usually provides Stunfisk enough time to then open their mouths, which open upwards on their face, and swallow the prey item whole. As they are releasing electricity, it is noted that these creatures will also grin uncontrollably, but this is not the result of them attacking others out of sadistic pleasure. In truth, these creatures actually have a genetic defect, 
that causes part of electricity in the bodies to run through the muscles in the front of their face, contracting the muscles around their mouth uncontrollably to generate this forced grin. Thankfully for unsuspecting travelers, stunfisk are not aggressive or really that dangerous at all, as they are smart enough to know when they have accidentally shocked something that is too large or strong for them to handle. In cases like this, they will instead violently contort their bodies in an S-shape after discharging electricity in order to wobble away from their target, though their poor swimming speeds often mean that they cannot escape fast predators and must fight with all the power they have to avoid being eaten. Due to living for extensive periods of time covered in mud, however, this is rarely a good idea even for predators, as the meat tastes of the mud they live in and is generally unpalatable unless cooked properly and with the right seasoning. Their slow speed equally makes them inefficient combatants in battle, but the fact that they can survive outside of water for long periods of time makes them one of the few fish Pokemon that do not require body water to survive and in battle, and their thin profile can often make them surprisingly hard to hit, potentially giving them enough time to use what attacks they have at their disposal to soften their target up before unleashing their most potent electrical attacks. Stunfisk as a whole may not be the most dangerous of fish Pokemon that one can encounter, but they can certainly get the drop on others and unleash a unique mix of ground and electric type moves that few other species of Pokemon can wield. Their limited offenses might make them less than ideal for most battles, but they can still take a serious beating and keep right on going, and in turn can easily stir up some trouble if they can be raised to the point of having the devastating Fisher attack in their move repertoire. Just do yourself a favor and try and make sure that you pay attention to where you stride in the water when anywhere near their territory. Even if you actively do your best to look for them, treading on the muddy bottoms of their homes might just be asking for a quick electrocution, and it will certainly be a punishment these beasts will deliver with a big smile on their face.